Hello everyone. This paper is jointly written by me, Ravinandan Bibi, and Dr. Shilpa, both working as assistant professors in Department of Mass Communication and Journalism from Acharya Institute of Graduate Studies, Bengaluru. So this research is titled Devil's Advocate or Votaries of Ruling Dispensation, an investigation into the framing of issues and fake news by selected TV news anchors. So before we begin, a small introduction. With the advent of private news broadcasting, there is a sea of change which you can see. News has been turned into a commodity. Shouting matches has replaced the debates. Studio journalism has replaced the ground reporting. And outrage journalism has replaced the role of anchor as a facilitator of healthy debate. So herein, we adopt focus group discussion method to get the fake news hosted by four popular Indian anchors. And also we will see how do these four anchors fare with respect to the practicing of their standards of journalism. So out of numerous definitions which we have quoted in our research, the most important one is propaganda. The propaganda is when an entity attempts to influence the public perception about a party, organization, or the government, mostly with untrue stories. So objectives of our study were to study the framing of issues by selected hosts or anchors in the TV debates, to understand the motives behind airing false information by these selected news anchors. And as, you, as I already mentioned, we adopted focus group study method involving 12 UG and PG journalism students. And we made it a point that these 12 UG students or PG students who were selected, they regularly observed the debates of these anchors for at least a period, not less than two years. And also the reason behind choosing these four anchors were that most of the news, false news documented in the last five years could be easily traced to these anchors. We also made it a point that the factual information so presented by the participants during the discussion were mostly source checked. And before we entered those things into the research, we also saw to it that at least 80% of the opinions matched. And only those opinions which concurred with the 80% of uh, the opinions that was used for drawing conclusions. The four news anchors are as follows. Arnab Goswami from Republic TV, Shweta Singh from Aaj Tak Channel, and Rahul Shivshankar of Times Now, and Sudhir Choudhury from Z News. And in our findings, we could broadly come out with three important themes. One is discernible patterns in framing of issues. The second kind of category we designed was the patterns in controversies. And thirdly, the theme was spread of fake news. So moving on in our findings with respect to the discernible patterns in framing of issues. And when we studied about the Arnab Goswami, the participants felt that framing of issues, it clearly indicated that there was a leaning towards the rightist category in the political spectrum. And mostly the framing of opposition of Arnab Goswami, the framing of opposition, specifically the Congress party and its leaders' criticism of the government was framed as anti-national. And some of the debates which were referred to by participants in order to substantiate their points were, is there a special relation between the China and Congress? It was in the wake of 20 of our Indian soldiers being killed at LAC when there was a border ambush with China. And second was, is Rahul Gandhi speaking like a spokesperson of China? Or Congress gives a clean chip to China in LAC face off. Some of the quotes with the participants quoted were, Adnab seems more of a propagandist for Modi government than a honest journalist. His favorite sentence, we as a nation need to support the government 
builds the narrative that any dissent about the official line is pseudo intellectual and anti national he blatantly promotes the hindutva agenda and criminalizes the opposition his talks are sort of a bird cow that is provocative sort and moving on discernible patterns in framing of issues with respect to shweta singh participant felt that she frames most of the issues in a manner that reinforces the narrative of the current india government and participants also pointed out to the marked difference between how she interviews others and how she interviewed the prime minister and one important quote was there is nothing wrong in doing a personality interview but don't claim that it was political interview and tough and direct questions were posed as the anchor later claims moving on to rahul shivashankar the discernible patterns in the debates of rahul shivashankar particularly with respect to the framing of issues the participants felt that he caters to a niche rightist pro hindutva audience he frames issues that are provocative and islamophobic for example they quoted caliphate converts hindus one of the debates conducted by rahul shivashankar is quran about constitution being hindu in india is it a disadvantage so these were the things which were recalled by the participants and they also felt that he portrays the opposition in bad light so as to garner support from the ruling party headed by mr narendra modi and some of the issues that were recalled were is rahul using fakery to stoke fear that was in the context of demonetization muslims back prime minister modi vision does opposition fear unity now that was in the wake of up elections china admits a pushback will army doubter surrender now some of the point quotes are as follows bread and butter of his show are right wing causes most of which instigates hindus against muslims quote number 2 he is arnab goswami part 2 and his pet words or pseudo intellectual gang tukde tukde gang anti national cotri secular lobby etc all borrowed from mr goswami and participants felt that he is anything but impartial and neutral and moving on to sudhir choudhury participants felt that he reinforces stereotypes against minorities he seldom misses opportunity to link any dbn conduct by any muslim as being prompted by terrorist intentions and jihad and it they felt he praises frequently mr modi and his governance unequivocally and the participants also recall that during the delhi elections delhiites being were dubbed by the anchor as lazy and caring only for their own interest rather than for nationalist issues like balakot strike and article 370 and this is said according to participants because they didn't vote for bjp that is delhiites did not vote for bjp and top quotes were he presents the views in his shows which are laden with precisely such narratives with which the government wants to portray he mocks opposition on flimsy grounds so moving on to the second discernible themes that have categorized it as patterns in misinformation and disinformation and the participants came out with what were the basic false news propagated by the four said anchors and all the false news which were presented during the discussion were source checked later and only that were proved correct with respect to the facts that were included in the study so after listening to the arnab goswami's false news fake news participant felt that there was a sheer enthusiasm yeah the sheer enthusiasm to shield to shield pm modi and his decisions or the ideology of hindutva of bjp and that was the reason which participant felt was uh, driving the fake news propagation by arnab goswami and they quoted one or two false news one was regarding the bandra station in maharashtra on may 3rd and second one was misquoting dr ambedkar in a debate titled what's wrong in saying bharat mata ki jai and there were also many other incidences of fake news being propagated by arnab gos not not directly by arnab gos sami but by his channel that is ransacking of property of slain sarpanch ajay pandita in the last june this year in srinagar or in the jama masjid in dar due to non payment of electricity bills for four crores and coming to shweta singh the participants felt two important 
uh, false news they were able to recollect. One was on nano GPS chip, and second was on listed where she listed out several benefits of cow, and most of which were found to be factually grossly incorrect. Again, with Rahul Shivshankar, conversion red cards, wherein he came out with such kind of statements where in this hub of ISIS activity, young Hindus are being rad radicalized by caliphate, which was finally proved to be a fake news. And also one more fake news where he dubbed, Rahul Shivshankar dubbed a veterinary procedure carried out on cows was, president, was presented as cruelty meted to cow by cattle mafia. So moving on, the participants were able to narrate two or three important fake news being spread by Sudhir Chaudhary. One was on the maiden speech of TMC MP Mahua Maitra in parliament on 12 early signs of early fascism. And second one was on nano GPS chips that they were installed in the 2000 rupees note. That was what, what was the fake news spread by Sudhir Chaudhary. And thirdly, participants also pointed out to numerous false news being spread by Z News the rise of Supreme Leader Narendra's predicted by Nostradamus and also human fecus served to non-Muslims by Muslim restaurant owners and many others which were later found to be grossly false. So, and the third pattern or third pattern in the study which we were able to discern was the pattern in controversies. What were the kind of controversies being uh, attached to Arnab Goswami or being indulged by Sudhir Chaudhary and others and what, what can we conclude from the nature of those or pattern of those controversies. So I have just quoted what some of the uh, controversial statement of these anchors. Arnab Goswami for example in 2017 has blurted out against uh, Congress spokesperson, spokesperson Kalapa so this was his statement, shut up, listen to me, say I am a coward, I am a lunatic, say I am a rogue agent. Now these were the words, he also said, I am, you say that you were sitting there on the lap dog, lap dog, as a lap dog of Gandhi's. So this was, that was one of the controversy where you can, we can easily see as participants pointed out that a, a discernible pattern was there where he went on to uh, uh, criticize the Congress. And secondly, the controversy during the lynching of two sadhus in Palga district of Maharashtra where he abused Sonia Gandhi and for which he had to uh, had some cases on him. So participants of point that in all the above mentioned cases, it is obvious that the anchor is carrying forward with the BJP and launching a relentless attack on opposition and using the Republic channel as a platform for the hate campaign against Muslims. And coming to Sudhir Chaudhary, participants listed out different kind types of jihad that he basically came out with on his channel, being practiced by Muslims to break India, for which there is a case registered against him in Kerala. And also they pointed out to the extortion bid of 100 crore rupees uh, from Navin Zindal, who happens to be Congress MP, and also case filed for running alleged doctor videos showing the JNU students shouting anti-national slogans. This case was registered against him in 2016. And the participants felt that in, in the discussion ensued, they felt that there's a pattern, the pattern in these controversies is clear, that it is politically and ideologically agenda driven, and in some cases, aggressively pushing the extreme rightist agenda of Hindutva. So Rahul Shivshankar, three of the important, two of the important fake news spread by him was pointed out, and also some of the controversies, one of the controversies is, what he said about the president of National Women's Front, A.S. Sainaba, uh, that she is converting Hindu women into Islam. And second was during the Not In My Name protest, wherein he said the activists of Not In My Name protest were contacting the, uh, they had contacts in Pakistan, which both of them proved, was proved to be wrong. And regarding Sweta Singh, recently a remark on Indian military after the Galvan Valley, where she wanted to protect the, where parchments felt that she wanted to protect the government even implicating the military. And also about the communal clashes at Kasganj, 
uh, on the eve of Republic Day that happened in Uttar Pradesh. The participant opined that by blaming the army and protecting the government, she had betrayed her party bhakti instead of desh bhakti, as she claims to have allegiance to. So Kashkar's remarks were was pure deliberate attempt at calling out the minorities as anti-national rogues fit to be punished. Now that was one of the quotes which a participant uh, had said. So finally, uh, discussion and conclusion part of it, after going through the entire uh, focus group discussion method, what we felt was, firstly, there is a conspicuous absence of issues related to burning problems of people's lives. And secondly, anchors inclination towards ideological right is the motive behind the deliberate omission of issues that could indict the ruling government at the center. Thirdly, the debates conducted largely pertaining to even to issues. Even then, even such issues, the framing were extreme, one-sided, provocative and smacked of political and ideological bias. And fourthly, there is a merciless bashing of the criticism against the official against the official line by ridiculing, trivializing the opposition. And most of the participants also felt that they all these anchors were sort of more of a propagandist under the cloak of journalists. Fifthly, nature of controversies points to that the antagonisms, there was, there was a strong antagonism to the idea or group that they viewed, that the anchors viewed as opponent of the rightist government and the false news aired by the said anchors is a murkier attempt to help build, strengthen and perpetuate the political and ideological beliefs of the said anchors. Thank you.